My name is Augusta and I am a member of the Data Schools 23rd cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a dynamic rename tool in Alteryx. Before we start, please note that all links to materials relevant to this video, including data sources, are in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. We will start by inputting a new dataset into Alteryx. Let's select the dataset name dynamic rename dataset1 and let's click OK. So quickly observing, we can see that our headers are named as field 2, field 3, field 4, and so on. And our actual header names are on the first row of the dataset. To correct this, we're going to use a dynamic rename tool. Let's go to the search bar and look for the dynamic rename tool. Let's drag it onto our workflow and let's configure the tool on the left hand side. Our rename mode this time is going to be take field names from first row of data and we're going to leave all the fields ticked as they are. Let's run this workflow and let's observe that our headers have now appropriate names. We have customer ID, first name, last name, and so on. With dynamic rename tool, we can also rename headers as we wish. Let's drag another dynamic rename tool to the view and connect it to the first dynamic rename tool that we have. Our rename mode this time is going to be formula. And what we're going to do is we will add a word code to our header if it contains zip. So in this case, we will have a zip code, capitals and also zip4 code Let's go to our tool and let's configure it. Our rename mode is formula and we will select zip in capital letters and zip4 and we're going to write an expression for this. If contains open brackets current field comma open speech marks zip close the speech marks and close the brackets. Then double click current field plus open speech marks space code close the speech marks else double click on current field and diff. This expression says that if our header contains a word zip then we're going to add code to the header. Otherwise, we're going to leave it as it is. Let's run this workflow. And now we have zip code and zip4 code. We can also add prefix or suffix to our headers if we want. So let's drag another tool connected to the first dynamic rename tool that we have. And our rename mode this time is going to be add prefix suffix. Let's select visits and spend and add total as our prefix. Let's run this workflow. Click on the output. And now we have total visits and total spend. We can also remove prefix or suffix if we wish. So let's drag another tool, connect to the first dynamic rename tool. Let's select our rename mode as remove prefix or suffix. And let's choose store number, remove number as our suffix and run the workflow. Click on the output and now we have store instead of store number. Dynamic rename tool is also useful if we want to take or borrow headers from a different data set, let's upload a new data set and I'll show you what I mean. Select the dynamic rename data set too. Click OK. And as you can see here, we have a similar situation where we have field 1, field 2, field 3 and so on as our headers. However, we don't have the header names on the first row, but they match our first data sets headers. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Alteryx to take the headers from the first data set over here. Let's bring dynamic rename tool. This new data set is our data set that we're interested in. So we're connecting it with the dynamic rename tool on the left input. And we are going to bring a connection from the dynamic rename tools output to the right input of the new dynamic rename tool. And we're going to configure the tool as follows. Our rename mode is going to be take field names from right input metadata. And that's it. Let's run our workflow and look at the output. Now our headers turned into customer ID, first name, last name, and the address. I hope you now feel more confident in using dynamic rename tool in Alteryx. If you enjoyed this video, I think you would also find these other videos by my colleagues useful. Thanks for watching.